Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bleat, and today I'm gonna to be playing the Complex Found Footage. I don't know much about this game. On the store, it says that the Complex Found Footage is a walking simulator with the world being viewed through a VHS camera. Uncover a mystery that lies in the world of the Complex, though it may leave more questions rather than answers. Traverse and explore the huge, unforgiving, and mysterious world. Deal with an unrecognizable entity. This game has its own story and is not connected with any previously established backrooms lore. Alright, that looks pretty good. The reviews were very positive and the screenshots look very good. Let's jump in and see what it's all about. Insert tape, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. 1990. The complex. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> right off the bat, this is very impressive. This is very impressive. This is extremely immersive already. This is crazy. This looks so good. Wow. I mean, I know I just jumped into this, this game, but this, I'm very impressed already with how this looks and how this plays. This is much different than any of the other Backrooms games that I've played. Freshly frozen foods. I can see Jack in here. Crouch. Can crouch. Okay, nothing back there. Um, let's go. This way. This is so cool. This is so cool. This feels so real. So it's so realistic.
that's a dead end. Um, can we open things? No. see where it's taking us. I'm, I'm, again, I know this is very early on, but this just looks so good. It's crazy. This looks so good. In this game, it's like weird. The emotions that it gives me, it's like very eerie, but also like very beautiful, but also very unnerving and, and eerie and beautiful. And I don't know, it's weird. It's weird, it gives me weird feelings. see garbage man all right I tried all the all the key, all the reasonable keys and I don't think we have a flashlight so we'll just keep pressing on that is a okay with me though because I don't really want to be in the dark anyway Okay. Well, uh, okay. We have a choice. Left or straight? Uh, all right, we go straight. We go straight. Let's go this way. 
let me in. Let me in. Oh, that was very well done. That was very well done. Oh, that was so eerie. What? Hello? Mm -mm. Nope. Not my stop. Not my floor. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. That is so eerie. That's so well done. Oh, I love that. All right. So yeah, the name of the game is to find those elevators for sure. Find the elevators. Chemical storage. This is insane, man. The atmosphere in this game is so well done. Definitely think that that breathing is getting louder. Ooh, get me in, get me in, get me in, get me in. Man, I feel like I'm on the edge of my seat. This is so good. This is such a good, such a, uh, such an immersive experience already. And I've only been playing this game for, what? Not even 15 minutes? All right. It's not ominous at all. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. that breathing let's just get out of here <sighs> all right This is so cool. That is so cool. Wow. This is so nuts. I love this. This is so good. Here. 
here. Yes. Get me out. Get me out of here. Man, this game. This game. Uh, hmm. Magwave Research Institute. Is that it? The complex found footage. Feels like the end. Yeah. Man, that I could have I could have played that for much longer. That was so good. Oh man, that was so good. That was so well done. Hats off to the developers and the team who who made that game. That was very immersive. That was very immersive. What a beautiful game, too. It looks so good. Some areas heavily inspired by Kane Pixel's backrooms. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was it. All right, well, dang, that was really good. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I mean, by the description, it was a walking simulator, but it also mentioned that entity, so I didn't really know how that would play into it. It, it, I feel like it's kind of a shame that we only really got to see it once and then hear it breathing. I mean, very well done. No, no, that's not even a complaint. That's just a, I, I wish that maybe I could have experienced more of that, like that one instance where looking down the hallway, you see like its head or its silhouette pop out from behind that corner. That was awesome. I felt chills and tingles like cover my body, my whole body. That was a... Uh, that was very well done. I, I wonder if the entity could kill you, like if you stayed too long in a certain area or if you couldn't find the elevator. I might have to go back through and, and linger and, and see what happens, but man, that was really well done. Like I said, hats off to the developers and the team who created this game because that was, that was really well done. Very short, I could have played more of it. Very short, but very immersive. The way that it looked and the way that it sounded and the way that it played, everything just looked very realistic and it was very different than any other game that I've played. Even the other Backrooms games that I've played, this one, the atmosphere was, was the most immersive, hands down. Highly recommend it. If you guys haven't played it yet, you should definitely check it out. It's free to play on the Steam store, so why not? Oh, and I think that I read um, that there might be some more content coming out by these guys, uh, like an expansion or DLC or something. Maybe not DLC, but just more content, maybe some more uh, more rooms to venture through. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this short playthrough of the complex found footage. I had a really good time and I hope you guys did too. Hope to see you all in the next video and until then, take care.